In this installment of our segment on safety, we talk about airbags. Those big balloons in your cars which prevent you from any massive injury in case of an accident. These are not simple balloons that just inflate when there is an impact. They are massively complex and there is a huge amount of engineering that is behind these things. Check out the special quote. An airbag, also known as an air cushion restraint system or supplemental restraint system, is classified as a passive restraint. It automatically inflates upon collision to act as a cushion that prevents the occupants in case of an impact. Today, in the world of cars, airbags are ubiquitous and also a mandatory safety feature in most countries. But do you know that the concept of airbags is over a century old? And it took about 30 years to find its use in the automotive domain as a safety item. The airbag concept was first patented in 1920 by two dentists, Harold Round and Arthur Parrott. And the patent covered bags filled with air to cover airplanes and other vehicle parts. However, the first patent for airbags specifically for use in an automobile was filed in 1951 by German engineer Walter Linderer. About 10 months after the German patent submission, John W. Hetrick of the United States also filed for an airbag patent. Since the US Patent Office granted the patent first, Hetrick is frequently credited for being the first automobile airbag inventor. Both early systems relied on compressed air systems, deployed either by spring or bumper contact or at the driver's discretion. But researchers indicated that compressed air could not inflate the mechanical airbag fast enough to ensure maximum safety. Hence, no major car company was interested in the safety feature that would become mandatory worldwide. The first significant breakthrough came in 1964, when a Japanese automobile engineer, Yasusobaru Kuburi, used a chemical micro-explosive system to inflate airbags. It was far quicker than the previously used compressed air unit, and he efficiently got its patent registered in 14 countries. Still, hitting bumpers or drivers manually activating the airbags was not a reliable process. In 1964, American engineer Alan K. Breed invented an electromagnetic sensor. The new sensor combined with the chemical micro-explosive system would inflate an airbag in under 30 milliseconds. Ford also separately developed a similar crash restraint system. In 1971, the Ford car company built an experimental airbag fleet. Ultimately, General Motors became the first automaker to use airbags in their vehicles in 1973. GM used airbags in Chevrolet Impalas that were only sold for government use. GM was also the first to take airbags to market, and its Oldsmobile Tornado was the first car with an optional passenger airbag intended for sale to the public. However, it was discontinued later because of insufficient consumer interest. Seat belt usage was low in the 1970s, and the airbag was marketed as an alternative to seat belts. However, early airbag systems had design issues resulting in fatalities caused solely by the airbags. Safety concerns rose, and by the 1980s, legislation passed mandating either seat belts or airbags in all new cars. By 1988, Chrysler became the first company to offer airbag restraint systems as standard equipment. In 1994, TRW began production of the first gas-inflated airbag. They have been mandatory in all cars since 1998. Airbags have evolved a lot in the last couple of decades, and we are back to compressed air canister systems for modern airbags that are far more efficient and powerful than the original compressed air systems. Types and shapes have also changed, along with the frontal airbags, curtains, side torso, seat cushions and even knee airbags have become popular in more expensive vehicles. The future can't be predicted. With technological development happening at light speed, it's only safe to assume that airbags will evolve even more robustly. 